Saturday. The sun is out. And so is the bean. Time to do some harvesting. Okay. Mm. could really do with taking a few branches off this. Hi beans. Look, all the different colours. Beautiful. You hiders, I'll find you. It's just great. A fly has just flown straight into my mouth. Lovely. Look at this. Been showing you the progress on this each time I've come out, and it is still rock solid. So it's still got a little way to go with the colouring, but I'm pretty sure it is a chocolate. something I've forgotten the name of it again every time I look at it I remember the chocolate part because you know chocolate and one more I think everything else can wait some serious pruning to do. Are you wanting to go in? Why am I not surprised? First I am getting rid of a spider web because I'm not coming in when there's a great big spider web above my door. It can go away. Now, that's still not quite ready. It's so close. And yet, it's still far. Hmm. What else? Okay, so last time we came in here, I repotted. Now, this has grown. This. When I did repot it, it was all wilty and um, agapanthus. It was all wilty and didn't look too good, but that was pure stress. Now it's actually perked up, which is great. And the salpicosis is doing very well. Mamimosa, I'm still waiting for roots to be coming out of the bottom. And then I am going to be able to plant it out the front. But we didn't come in here for that. I came in here purely to grab some tomatoes. Oh, there's a couple back here. Oh, they're so red. So scared of spiders falling down onto my hands. Because then I'll scream on cam and then you'll all laugh at me. Well, you probably laugh at me anyway. But I think me screaming isn't going to help matters, really. Now, there's a split one here. I'm going to take it off anyway. I don't want it. But this one's 
it on the vine. Sunbathing, my darling. Yeah. Okay. So, it's one lot of watering done. Which a little bit on here. And while I'm here, I'm seeing a couple down here. So satisfying growing your own. It tastes so, so much better. You want some water? Let me get rid of this horrid stuff then. I know you. There you go. So my garlic, which is actually gone a little bit too early in the year but I'm not gonna let go of it so I did a couple of days ago I actually took quite a bit of foliage off of these and yet it's still like walking into a jungle in here because the amount of plants but they'd actually come up and pulled this down so I had no choice I had to let this one start in again look Stay this side, my dear. Stay this side. But if you keep the bushiness down, it will put more effort into the fruit rather than... Oh, that's so close. Rather than actually into growing as a plant. So you get much nicer and more fruit. Um, what else do we have? This... I've, I've got to let it dry out. You see all this on the lavender. This is now far too wet and rotten. There is some new growth down there, which thank goodness I hope it takes. But um, unfortunately, all of this is gone. It's finished. Uh, this... I need to really get into the community garden so that it can be shared because there's bulbs in there. Um, hmm. oh, fuzzy. Do you see the fuzz on them? I think I know the type of tomato that is. And I have been looking forward to these for so long so long right beans not this beans but the beans out here let's see if there are any i have left it a little while because there's been so many slugs and snails you see such a shame such a shame eaten so much of my plant. Mm. Never mind, I have tomatoes. I'm happy. I also have a fuzzy bean. What more do I need in life? 